Prick Buzz Unplugged, Adam Collins. I'm very happy to have Gus Logie with me here, the West Indies assistant coach of the women's team. You've been with the women's team for such a short space of time, but plenty of improvement already. They've had a fantastic start to the tournament. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're quite, um, you know, excited about it, what we have seen so far. We know there's room for improvement, and always is. And um, But last night was really warming and pleasing to see the way we responded after putting up a, you know, a very mediocre total by our mm. standards, I like to think. I think because we have enough quality in there to produce the kind of scores that we expect going forward. But certainly the way they feel it, the way they bowled, um, it was just unbelievable. The intensity level was so high, the, the consistency from the bowlers was magnificent and the way they backed up in the field, the catching and the runouts, magnificent. You know, uh, you, It raised the pause and it makes you feel like you want to keep working more and more. <laughs> and how fantastic was that crowd last night? It was rollicking, wasn't it? It was rollicking, as a matter of fact, and it was a nice gesture at the end. Uh, our assistant there already encouraged the ladies to come outside and meet the crowd and they took um, selfies, you know, I think mm. they got a chance to meet with the the, the, the crowd with the, the fans a bit more which is only going to help their, their own confidence because I think that's what you want you know if the players do feel that the crowd is behind them with them I think you always have an opportunity to go out there and give off your best so I'm looking forward to the next game I'm looking forward to doubling that crowd 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 and the players are really having an all wrong game the batters must come to the party and it is about time A massive part of your victory last night was the fight back in the field you caught everything that great run out from Deandra Dotton is that your influence as well of course you were one of the best fielders of your generation well, well, um, I wouldn't want to say it is, but I like to think by me being here, by us helping along with the other coaches, you know, we're trying to make sure the girls elevate their game to a level that is acceptable. And we've seen them responding to everything that we would have asked them to do. And I think we'll continue to motivate and inspire them. And of course, you've led the West Indies to a major trophy before, back in 2004, the Champions Trophy. Drawing down on that experience here, what, what can you teach them about playing in those really big cauldron-like environments? Yeah, it's about make, making sure they concentrate and focus on what matters at the time. Um, being in the moment, which is very important but all the preparation prior to getting there it what is going to full out in there. They must back their, their, their preparation. They must trust themselves, trust each other. At the end of the day, respect the game to the best of their ability. But of course, to avoid some of the distractions that you get outside of the game, because it could happen, especially at home, family, friends, the fans, the media, you know, it's a lot of distractions happening, but it's about getting them to refocus their energies and being in the moment. Have you been in touch with any of your former West Indies teammates from back in the glory days and asked them about their take on this women's team and how they're tracking along? Yeah, many of the players are involved as ambassadors as well, Andy Robertson and Antigua, so Viv Richards, you know, we've seen uh, Darren Sammy here, you know, we've seen Shiv, you know, in Guyana as well. And all the players are very supportive and they are really and truly rooting for the players. They have sent video footage to us to encourage the, the, the players to do well. Some of the present players as well who are, who are in India, you know, they send congratulations and also at the end of the best wishes. So we are taking all in stride and the players are really up for it. Before I let you go, I want to get your thoughts on one other thing. You coached Bermuda and Canada over a long <laughs> period of time. You would have saw the comments from Irish captain Laura Delaney saying, as soon as they become professional, they can compete on this global stage. Do you agree with that? How what a big step professionalism can be to, to seriously competing against the big, the big dogs in this contest? Well, I think in, in the true sense of the word professionalism, it's not just about being paid. I think it's an attitude, it's a mindset. And I think once that comes in, it gives the players an opportunity to train for longer periods consistently, playing against better competition. I think that's what the improvement is going to come from. The hunger is there in those countries. The players want to elevate their game. They want to, to improve and they want to compete against the best in the world. So that hunger is there. And once that hunger is there and it's given the opportunity to, 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 to shine, I have no doubt they will. Gaslagi, thanks so much for sharing your thoughts with Crick Buzz Unplugged. You're welcome. Thank you.